Hi everyone, I'm Katia Gouveia and I'm the head of the Madeira Department at SPEA, the Portuguese Society for the Study of Birds. And today I'm here to present our Life for Best project, Seabird Macaronesia Sound. First of all, I will present our association. The Portuguese Society for the Study of Birds is the Portuguese partner of BirdLife International. Our association was founded in 1993 and we started at a small organization, mostly focused on bird watching and research, but over the years we grew and evolved. Today we are actually one of the largest environmental NGOs in Portugal, and we work every day to protect the Portuguese birds and the incredible habitats they depend on. We have offices in the mainland, but also in the Portuguese archipelagos of Azores and Madeira. We also have partnerships in São Tomé and in Cape Verde Islands. Thanks to the support of our member volunteers and partners, we monitor the state of Portuguese birds, we build nests, we remove invasive species, we push for better laws, fight environmental crime and much, much more. In the last 20 years, we have been working closely to mitigate seabird threats and increase knowledge on these amazing species. We have been developing several conservation projects. Here I will present some of the projects developed in Madeira and in Azores archipelagos, which were mainly focused on the identification of important bird, bird areas at sea, in the recovery of habitats and the invasive species control, also by working in environmental awareness and promotion of outdoor activities and also by reducing light pollution threats and marine litter, litter impacts. In 2020, we started the Life for Best Seabird Macaronesia Sound. But with so many projects, why is this project different and why it was needed? As you know, the Macaronesia region, which encloses the archipelagos of Azores, Madeira, Canary Islands and Cape Verde is a hotspot for biodiversity. It has a huge diversity of endemic species from plants to seabirds and not forgetting of course the invertebrates which present the biggest rates of endemic fauna. Both Portuguese archipelagos harbor nine species of seabirds. Here you have some images of these nine breeding species, both in Azores and in Madeira. And you have here on the left side, the most common species, the Coris shearwater, which occur also um, in Madeira and in Azores. But I would like to highlight the three endemic species. We have the Xenospetrum that breeds in Madeira Island, and it's one of the most endangered species in Europe. We also have the Desertus petrol with 180 breeding pairs in a remote island of Bugio, and the most recent species, which is the Montero storm petrol that is exclusive to some islets in the Azores archipelago. Besides these three endemic species, we have the Cori shearwater that I stated before. We have important colonies of Manx shearwater, Bulver's petrol, Audubon shearwater, and the white faced storm petrol that breeds in Salvagian Islands. Although these archipelagos are important to seabirds conservation, there is a lack of information regarding distribution and size of breeding populations. The last census and the review of the state of the seabird population in the, in the Azores were uh, performed in the 90s. And there is no current basic information to support the majority of the conservation actions and to help us to define key biodiversity areas for seabird species. The situation in Madeira is actually even more worrying because we have no information about the population estimates and the distribution of the colonies in Madeira Island. We have from Desertas, from Porto Santo, from Selvagens, but from the main islands we don't have this information. So within this project, we intended to replicate a work that was conducted by Luis Monteiro and his team in the 90s for the prospection of seabird colonies in the Azores. And we tried to extend this methodology to Madeira Island. In Azores, we, we proposed, we foresee to repeat the same sites of the previous study in Flores, Santa Maria, San Jorge and Graciosa in 16 sites. While in Madeira, we intended to survey 10 coastal sites on which we have a suspicion on the presence of seabird colonies. 
The main goals of the project was were to contribute to the conservation and ecosystem services through the update and assessment of seabird species protected by the birds directive, fulfilling several targets to the European uh, laws to preserve and strategies to preserve biodiversity. The main goal, of course, was to protect species and habitats, also to evaluate and update information of species uh, included in Natura 2000 network, and of course, contribute to a better management of these species and its habitats. To reinforce European laws and di uh, directives, raise population awareness and monitor and report more consistently by implementing a low cost, standardized and innovative methodology that can be replicated and is easy to update. Some indirect goals were maintain and restore ecosystem through mapping and assessment of species and ecosystems value, use European funds to protect prior priority species, increase ecosystem restoration and develop local communities by protecting their natural heritage based on sustainable growth through natural restoration with the awareness uh, actions, increase species plasticity by obtaining an accurate population status evaluation, which is a major factor to apply to best practice measure, measures which are vital to species that can adapt and mitigate several threats that they face. And also, of course, minimize climate change effects. The target species of the project were four, and we will now take a look of, uh, to, these, to these species. The first species is the Manx shearwater, which is very similar to the Audubon shearwater that we will see um, in the next minutes. And it has a black pattern on the upper parts and a white pattern in the lower parts. The transitions from one to another ends below the eye, which is demarcated. It, it can also be identified by the half moon form behind the eye. In Madeira Island, they tend to breed on cliffs inside the island and above 500 meters in native forest areas with little bare rock and a good vegetation cover. In the Azores, they tend to nest on steep and inaccessible cliffs along the coast, but they can also be found in valleys like in Madeira Island. In Madeira, this species can be observed during almost the whole year, and from January to June and July, the breeding season, the breeding population is present. And in the so uh, summer and autumn, they um, some migrant uh, individuals can also be present. This species it has a conservation status that is least concern. Uh, but a population, the population trend is unknown. The, the estimates are at around 200 breeding pairs in Azores, but no information regarding uh, Madeira Island populations. The Odupum shearwater, as I told you, is quite similar to Max shearwater. It's a smaller, also with darker uh, upper parts and uh, white uh, underparts in the body. And uh, the legs are bluish with some black spots on the tarsus. Uh, there is no information av uh, available on the current status of the breeding populations. Some uh, preliminary studies uh, conducted in the Zoris estimated the, the presence of around 1,700 breeding pairs, and the information regarding the Madeira archipelago is restrict restricted to Salvage Island with almost at a maximum of 5,000 breeding pairs in these islands. The population trend globally is decreasing and it's also a species that is least concerned. Unlike most species of proslary forms, the Audubon shearwater does not migrate uh, significantly, remaining close to the breeding areas and may even visit them during the non-breeding season. The band storm petrel, also known as Madeira storm petrel, um, is distributed over the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. In Portugal, this species breeds in Berlingas, in the mainland, in Azores, and also in Madeira archipelagos. There are two different populations with uh, some differences in uh, morphological uh, characteristics, reproductive uh, periods, and also the vocalizations. 
the species are quite similar to the Montero storm petro. Actually, in the past, they were considered the same species, and it can be also uh, identified by a black spot near the tail. The population estimation for Berlingas is around 200 breeding pairs, in Azores around 700 breeding pair, and again for Madeira Island there are no accurate um, estimates for the for the population. It's again a population a conservation. It has a conservation status of least concern, but here again the population trend uh, trend is decreasing globally. The Montero star petrel is the smallest seabird in the Azores, is endemic to the Azores Islands, and it's all black with white spots at the base of the tail. As mentioned in the previous slides, this one has a slightly more forked tail compared with the Hidrobach Castro, and their vocalizations are slightly different, which give us the first clue to identify them as different species. The population estimation is based between 250 till 300 breeding pairs in Azores in two small islands on the island of Graciosa. More information is needed to confirm the presence of this species in other, in other islands, and we hope that by the end of the project we will have some more information. Although the population shows that um, the population uh, is stable, there is no updated information to confirm this uh, evolution. The species is not present in Madeira Island and the conservation status at a uh, global level is considered vulnerable. The last species that I would like to highlight today is the Xenos petrel. This is a species that is endemic to the Madeira archipelago and breeds in the highest mountains of Madeira Island. The population um, estimates it uh, of 80 breeding pairs. It has been the most, is one of the most endangered species in Europe. Um, it breeds um, between March and the juveniles leave the nests in October. And uh, I would like to highlight the conservation status of this species, which is endangered. The population trend is stable, however, uh, in, 20, in 2010, a fire affected the total breeding area of this species and caused the destruction of around 60% of the nests uh, and the death of several adults and juveniles. Of course, uh, and mainly thinking about the climate change scenario, it and as these birds breed in the highest mountains of the island, it's quite important to uh, ensure the conservation measures and minimize threats on these species. Otherwise, they will face um, extinction. One of the species that was not um, were, were, was not a target of the project, but we collected some, some information was the quarry shear water. This is the most common species in both archipelagos. The population is estimated in more than 10,000 breeding pairs in Azores and around 30 breeding pairs in Madeira. The information is exclusively from Selvagens Islands because there are no accurate and updated information about the species in Madeira Island. Um, the breeding of this species is confirmed in almost all islands of the Azores and in some islets also in the Madeira Island, but they also can occur within uh, the main island. The first breeds arrive in the breeding areas in February and March, depending on the location of the colonies, and the last juveniles fledge in early November. Um, this species also breeds in the mainland, uh, in, uh, in Portugal mainland, in the archipelago of Berlingas. Globally, the conservation status of this species is, is again least concern. Within this project, we aim to update the information on the distribution and size of population uh, of seabirds population on the Macaronesia Islands of Azores and Madeira Island in 26 potential colonies. However, we at the end of the project, we, we actually sampled and monitor more than 90 uh, spots um, regarding uh, this uh, species in both archipelagos. The sampling periods were defined based on the breeding season 
uh, of each species. We started in November and December with the census for Hidrobatch Castro. Between February and March, uh, and March for the Audubon's uh, Shearwater. Um, Hidrobatch Castro and Monteiro uh, were monitored between April and May, and May, and Max Shearwater between April and May again. Of course, it was important to develop the census uh, in the most act active uh, season of the breeding um, period uh, adapted to each species. We used uh, the methodology for perspe prospection uh, was based on the one implemented by Mont Montero baselines in both archipelagos. We assessed species distribution and population size through acoustic passive methodologies, namely nocturnal point calls and reco uh, recording the call rate. The calls were recorded on the top of the, cliff of the cliffs to minimize the noise of the waves and the wind and per uh, and uh, in moonless nights, uh, because seabirds are more active during moonless nights. We stayed for 30 minutes in each uh, point and recorded the information with sound amplifiers and sound record recorders. The information collected uh, will help us to estimate and to identify the distribution of the breeding colonies, but in the future we also can analyze the sounds and uh, get uh, more, more information and produce more scientific knowledge about these species. As I told you before, the methodology was adapted according to the weather conditions. Preferably, the senses were performed during moonless uh, nights and, of course, uh, with no wind conditions um, whenever it's possible. Here we have the distribution map of, uh, again, some preliminary data. We, we are finishing the, the data analysis. Um, and we, here we, we present some preliminary data regarding the Madeira Island. We identified three species, the Cori Shearwater, Audubon's um, Shearwater, the Mother Storm Petrol and um, Max Shearwater in several points all over the year, all over the island. Of course, Cori Shearwater was the most common species and field works were very positive with a good rate of detention and basic population estimates will be um, determined within this project for both archipelagos. Besides all the field work, we developed some environmental education. Of course, we had to make some, some adjustments to the pandemic situations, but we developed several environmental awareness actions and an online campaign on social media. We also developed capacitation actions uh, that were performed with local administration and the managers of the protected areas. And uh, as were one of the main objectives of the project, we hope that this methodology can be a useful tool to monitor seabirds populations and to contribute to increase the knowledge on seabirds, a key group to understand and to evaluate the good environmental status of our oceans and also the most endangered group of animals in all world. We also created a Facebook group called Seabirds of Macaronesia, where we update um, with uh, every week with several news about the project that we are developing regarding seabirds conservation and uh, threat minimization. Actually, this, this project already gave us some res uh, results. The methodology, as I told you before, was quite positive and helped us to determine uh, and identify the breeding sites of several species. And with this information, we also applied for a new Life for Best program, which was approved and we are starting it uh, uh, right now, which is uh, dedicated to the Max water and try to test other conservation, other uh, methodologies to, to prospect uh, seabirds within the Madeira Islands. To finish, I would like to present our Life for Best Seabird Macaronesia Sounds team. We have been working closely um, in a group of uh, seven persons, both in Madeira and uh, in Azores Archipelago, but it, we also counted with the help and contribution of several volunteers, uh, park rangers, um, 
managers from the protected areas that help us to increase the results. As I stated before, we foreseen uh, 26 um, uh, uh, colonies surveyed, but by the end of the project, we reached more than 90 points that were monitored uh, during three uh, seasons dedicated speci especially to each seabird. So we'll, I would like to, to finish, I would like to thank to all the volunteers and partners that help us to increase the results that we obtained in this project. To finish, I would like to invite you to visit our website where you can find uh, more information about this project and also the works that we have been um, working with seabirds. And, uh, and and other species in, in Portugal. And if you have any question, you can please write us and we will be very happy to exchange some, some of our uh, results and some ideas and also to, to help us to replicate um, the results of our project. Thank you very much and please keep in touch. <laughs>